Hey everybody, iDeathFX here, and today I'm going to show you guys another new mod. This mod is called Light Bridges and Doors. Now, there's more than light bridges and doors in this mod. There's four things that are new total, and they're all pretty awesome. They're all meant to uh, give you the feeling of Halo. If you guys haven't played Halo, it's an awesome sci-fi game. Uh, First-person shooter. Um, brings me back to my, my golden days of playing Halo before Minecraft. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this mod. Uh, it's pretty cool. I like it and it has a lot of unique features. So as you can see there's a uh, yeah, a little mine track and then there's just nothing. So um, this little thing right here is called a light rail. This is one of the new objects in the mod. Um, it just needs a redstone signal and it will turn on and uh, a rail track will go 50 blocks in both directions. So I'll do that now and well I mean if there's blocks next to it, it, it cuts it off so it doesn't go in this direction but uh, or it'll stop at that where it meets that next block. Um, but I have this space empty so I'll show you guys right now. See, as you guys can see, it uh, it goes all the way over there and connects to the blocks over there. And um, it doesn't go over here because these blocks are in the way. So I'm going to show you guys how cool this is because I was like, oh, um, I figured it was just kind of a different looking railroad track. But it actually floats in the air, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you fall through it though if you try walking on it. So it only works with a minecart which is pretty cool so that is the light rail and now I'm gonna show you guys the gravity lift um, if you guys have played Halo you know what the gravity lift is I mean it, it even if you haven't played Halo it sounds pretty uh, self-explanatory um, what you can do is you can customize the settings for how high you want it to jump but if you press uh, certain buttons so many times like they kinda like look like that and stuff so I only mess with the plus one and minus one and um, yeah so I'll show you guys what that does right now yeah that's pretty awesome it's like uh, jump boost um, it's, it's like jump boost it's pretty awesome and I just walked I didn't jump or anything I just walked over them and they just launched me in the air but actually I'll go back down and I'll show you guys um, this is what it's like if these are both on the setting one they don't really launch you that high but then I'll show you guys on setting two they launch you a little bit higher then three a pretty decent amount higher I mean in survival it would probably hurt you but um, yeah I'm in creative and then four that high and then five whoop 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 wrong buttons <laughs> you can you can press E you don't have to press it down to get out of that but um, yeah and then five it'll bring you up here so this brings me to the bridges and doors um, I'm on a bridge right now um, right if you look over here these these little uh, switches levers and that turns the bridge on and off but actually I'll show you right here this is the uh, the bridge and yeah it's pretty cool so you don't go through these which is pretty awesome so you have to actually open the bridge or door in order to get through so I'll show you like I can walk and I can't get through here you know um, I mean in creative you can just punch that but uh, that's not what you want to do you have to flick the levers and then you can get back in and as you can see I'm floating which is pretty awesome close the door back up behind me and BAM there you go so another cool thing about the bridges is you can kinda make stairs out of them I'll show you guys right now just thought I would do this cause I, thought, I thought it was pretty cool but yeah you can make stairs and um, you can jump over them and stuff like that and they connect but um, like I said once they touch other blocks they cut off so this one was turned on after this one so once it hit this one it doesn't go through this one was turned on before so it goes all the way to the wall which is pretty cool so um, that's the different things you can do with the bridges um, 
You can do many other things like make, I don't know, garage doors or something cool like that if you were to have a mod. Well, that's weird. Why did it do that? I don't know. Okay, I think it's fixed. Yeah, it's fixed already. Cool. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to craft them. I mean, yeah, right here is like windows and stuff that you can do, but um, oh, it's raining. How depressing. Alrighty. Um, oh yeah, also, these all glow. Um, they emit they emit light, which is pretty cool. So, um, I mean, not enough light to brighten up a whole area, but they emit light, and that's pretty cool. Uh, they're transparent, which is even cooler, so you can do stuff like this, and that's pretty awesome. That's my uh, dirt bike mod showcase uh, area up there, which is pretty pretty funny that you can see that. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to craft them. So we're going to start off with the light rail. You need six iron, all on the side, so three on each side. Then on the bottom you need a detector rail. Then in the middle you need a diamond. Then you need glowstone dust, just one. And that creates one light rail. And like I said before, that can bring you in 50 blocks in each direction. But the thing about that is it pretty much is not going to work that well unless you go downhill or you use a... Um, whatever the rails are, the um, the powered rails, unless you use those um, to speed you up, you're just going to go straight and you'll probably end up stopping and have to jump out. So that's the only downfall to that, but you can work around that. Then for the gravity lift, you need four purple dye in each corner. Then you need iron ingots, you need four of those in each of the other positions. And then in the direct center you need one ender pearl and that is what gives you a gravity lift and then like I showed you before you can customize it um, which is pretty awesome to how high you want to go. Um, you can get specific with the other buttons I just used the plus one and minus one just because it's it was the easiest thing to do. Um, yeah now over to the light doors you need two iron ingots in the middle on the sides then a diamond in the direct center then below the diamond you need one glowstone dust and you need two redstone on the sides of the glowstone dust and that gives you two light doors so you know that's pretty nice that the uh, the uh, diamonds are worth two light doors it's pretty nice I think it's cool diamonds pretty expensive and they're kinda like the same color I don't know if that's the reason why there's diamonds or if it's just supposed to be something expensive because it's more like futuristic but um, yeah, I'm just assuming random things. Don't listen to me. Anyway, on to the light bridge. You get two light bridges for this, just like the light door. Uh, you need four redstone, one in each corner, a uh, diamond in the direct center, glowstone dust on the top and bottom, and you need iron ingots on the left and right. And that is how you create all of this stuff in here. Uh, you get two, two doors two bridges for each crafting recipe and one light rail and one gravity lift for each of their crafting recipes. Um, I really like this mod, it looks pretty awesome. I would definitely use this in the future and it definitely does bring back memories from playing Halo. So um, yeah, if you guys like this mod, uh, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Uh, the link to the mod is going to be down below in the description, and uh, I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace!